You at the zoo, George, drawing the monkey cage? Not the monkey cage. A stage play about a not-so-well-known 19th century artist might not sound all that inviting. there's a lot more to it than that. Consider a successful 18 months on Broadway, a Pulitzer Prize, and two Tony Awards for sets and lighting. Add the credentials of playwright Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine, and the musical Sunday in the Park with George starts to look like hit material, and that's something ACT needs. Sunday in the Park with George is about Georges Seurat, a kind of renegade French Impressionist who developed a whole new school of painting. And the second act uh, leaps forward about a century in time to tell the story of his great-grandson, George, an American artist. The setting for Act One is this painting, George Surratt, Sunday afternoon on the island of Le Grand Jacques. The play explores the artist's relationship with the characters in the painting and society. They said he's working on an enormous canvas. I heard I somewhere think he's... The main thing is there's excitement. There's a stage full of scenery, there's 21 actors, beautiful costumes, a full orchestra in the pit, and it's like the beginning of a new age for ACT. Beginning a new age is exactly what ACT wants to do. After five years of battling a deficit by cutting corners on sets and casts, they desperately need to win back their audiences. And that's why they've chosen to lead the season with a musical, their first in 11 years, and an expensive one to boot. Much of the expense is for sets. The scenery is as important as the actors themselves. Anytime you do a musical, there's the play is more dependent upon the scenery than it is on, on a stage play, a, drama, a dramatic play. There's particularly with this show, because it's so scenic, based on the life of an artist, the scenery becomes the art. And there's lots of motion, lots of movement on the stage. So we have lots of tracks, lots of tracking pieces, the track on the floor, track in the air, lots of flying pieces. As far as ACT is concerned, it's a much larger production than we usually do. Oh. Ah. Uh, What's the matter? I hate this tree. Surratt put two years of his life into this painting, making dozens of changes along the way. And in the play, trees, boats, even people are made to appear and disappear with every revision. The Surratt style of painting was revolutionary in that he painted thousands and thousands of little tiny brush strokes, almost dots, that when you see them from a distance, they blend into the most subtle, beautiful colors. In fact, there's an undercurrent of Surratt's dot style or pointillism throughout the play, not only in the scenery, but in the costumes. Dots are also in the dialogue and in the music. George taught me all about concentration, the art of being still, he said. Even the leading lady, George's model and mistress, is named Dot. Dot is Melanie Chartor. You may recognize her from television. She's acted in St. Elsewhere and the soap spoof Fresno. Jeff Keller is from New York, where he played George for a time in the Broadway production. Both were brought in from the outside as power hitters to help guarantee the success of Sunday in the park with George. Places, please, for one, one. Director Laird Williamson has worked hard to make ACT's production even better than Broadway. Williamson has found ways to improve the complicated lighting and set changes, and he's even introduced multiple scrims to help us visualize the artist sketching in the first act. For all those who have labored long hours to get Sunday in the Park ready for opening night, the play is already a hit. Well, I think that is exciting this year at ACT. One is that um, it's the first musical we've ever done in history, which is pretty exciting. Um, the amount of work is extraordinary, um, which is a little overwhelming at times. But we have increased budgets, which means we have increased staff, increased fabric budgets. Um, 
increased vision, and that's, that's exciting to be part of. Whether Bay Area theatergoers will share that enthusiasm remains to be seen. But after five years of decline, ACT is due for a hit, and this could be it.